Holy shit, it's Captain Animal Team Mega Infinite, and we're on Call of Duty and Mitchell Hover, and I'll be showcasing for you guys my favorite class setup for the ARX 160 Assault Rifle. I have a parabolic microphone, full group, lightweight, fast hands, gung ho, and hardwire. That's really what matters on this class. Um, this gun is a really awesome assault rifle in game. In my opinion, it is the best weapon in game. Um, it's a, I believe, five round burst, if I remember correctly. And, uh, generally, I don't like burst weapons, but I still find myself consistently doing well with this weapon. So it doesn't really matter at that point if it's a burst weapon or not. What matters about it is if I do good with it. So I do do good with it usually. Hopefully most of the time. Hopefully we're going to do good this time. Um, so it, it's a really good weapon overall. And it's definitely something that if you guys haven't used before, I recommend you do. Um, and I mean there's still that chance you won't like it. But I have a good feeling you will like it. Now, because it is a burst weapon, it is more accurate, which is a plus side of it being a burst weapon. But then again, you can do burst with a full auto weapon, and just do that if you prefer doing that. Um, per personally, that's what I prefer, so I did like how in COD Ghost this gun was a burst weapon. Now, you may notice that I don't have any sight attachments. Uh, that's because the iron sights on this thing are just absolutely awesome. Um, I'm glad they kept that from COD Ghost, because they did change some other stuff about the weapon. So, um, it was... Uh, I was hoping that it would not have changed the sights on it, because that was one of the biggest reasons that I did enjoy this gun, uh, the iron sights, because they're just amazing, they're really accurate, and I love using them, so I don't ever feel the need to put a sight on this gun. Now, uh, this gun has two lead variants called the Steel Bite as well as the Damnation. I have both of them. There are videos of both of them, uh, the playlist for my Elite Weapon Showcases is available on my channel, so if you guys haven't seen those two videos on the Elite versions, I definitely recommend you do try it out, but I'm not using the Elite version right now, because um, I'm not showcasing an Elite variant, I'm showcasing the weapon's best class setups, so we're going to be showcasing for the point as to where I wouldn't have an Elite version with me. Where is this guy? Oh wait, oh we got sniped by another guy. Well, hopefully we can still get that other guy if he's still there. I think that's him, but I think one of my teammates is going to take him out. Or he'll take out one of my teammates and get taken out. Doesn't really matter to me. Just matters. Kind of matters to me, because he got taken out, but... Or well, he took out one of my teammates. But, um, I want to know what you guys think of this weapon, because, as I said, it is one of my favorites. Where would you rank it? Would you rank it at, in the top? Would you rank it at the bottom? It's just terrible. You can't use it. You do awful with it. Do you love it? Best gun in the game? What do you guys think about it? Because, um, as I said, I'm pretty sure it's at least in the top three. I don't know what the other two would be if it wasn't in the top three. Well, it is in the top three. If it wasn't the top one, I don't know what the other two that would be above it would be, but it's somewhere in the top three at least for the game. So, um, what do you guys think about ranking with that? But, um, this is a weapon that, as I said, I really enjoy using it, um, and I really do good with it usually, so, um, it's fun to use as well as being effective. So, it's a really good gun overall. Um, really, it's really enjoyable to use, let's put it that way, because as I said, I don't like burst guns, but even if I don't like burst guns, I still enjoy using this weapon because it's just, I don't know, I don't really know how to describe it, um, I really loved it in COD Ghosts, and I guess it brings back good memories from that, using it then, because, um, this actually, I hadn't used it, uh, for, I, like, I just started using it at one point, because I just got on after not playing Ghosts in months, because no one ever played it. Uh, I really did enjoy it, but no one ever played it for some reason. Um, and just got on, I started using it, and I just really fell in love with the gun. It's really awesome. Just really, I, um, I keep using the same words over and over, but it, 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 it they're accurate words, so that's why. It's enjoyable, and, um, for the most part, you'll find yourself doing good. And I want to know what your guys' experiences are like if you do have, uh, tried it out after using or seeing this video. Or if you've tried it before, you hated it, what did you think? Oh, we could have gotten that guy, but our teammate took him out. We still would have died, but, you know, at least we would get would have gotten a kill. Where is everybody? Right there. Oh, no, someone else took you out. Uh, took me out. Uh, I'm talking in third person here. 
All right, let's get back into it. Oh, wait, I thought the dead body flying was uh, the bad guy. All right, we got that guy. Let's see what we're doing. 21, wait, no. 14 and 14. I don't know why I was looking at the other team. All right, we got four kills to go. Just got sniped. Perfect timing. Oh, he's backing up. Come on. I don't think he's coming back out of cover. Ah, oh, and then his teammate gets me. Oh, one kill to go. One of my teammates will get it. All right, there we go. So, once again, I definitely recommend you guys do try it out if you haven't already. And I want to know your guys' opinions on it down below. But anyway, thank you for watching the video. And if you did enjoy it, please leave a like to help someone. You know, and I hope to see you next time.